And what else does this say? Well, the report is quite damaging. It says that employees were aware or at least should have known of those lapses in quality control. It says the company at one point even halted global safety audits in order to save money. So the report was issued by Democrats on the Commerce Committee, and it comes ahead of a Senate hearing that's happening on Tuesday. Now, Senator Bill Nelson of Florida, who's the highest ranking Democrat on the committee, said in a statement that the more evidence they see, the more it paints a troubling picture of a manufacturer that lacked concern. So uh, this report telling of incidents that happened as early as 2007, but Takata not taking any sort of action for over a year. Has Takata responded? Takata is uh, saying that uh, this is not correct. They're disputing uh, the findings. The report is based on 13,000 documents, and they were collected in order to go ahead with this investigation. So Takata is saying that those documents contain errors and that some of the emails that were put in the investigation were taken out of context. So Takata saying that they're committed to proper manufacturing practices and to the safety of their employees and also the driving public. And uh, speaking of which, where are we on these airbags and the recalls? Those the airbags, right, that can shoot shrapnels at passengers once they deploy. Well, they're linked to now eight deaths and over 100 injuries. So the latest confirmation came from Honda just a few days ago oh, wow. about the latest casualty that happened last September in oh. L.A. Now, Jewel Brangman was driving a 2001 Honda Civic when uh, she got into an accident and she she was killed. Now, 11 different manufacturers are recalling cars, and now we're hearing that more than 34 million airbags have to be fixed.